What's going on guys? It's Caleb and I'm back with another video. So I really enjoyed illustrating that Christmas tree on my iPad, so much so that I'm actually going to do it again, but this time we're going to do a nutcracker. So growing up as a kid, I had this weird obsession with nutcrackers around Christmas time and I ended up collecting a lot of them. So with that being said, I thought it would be a good idea for me to illustrate one using the iPad for you guys to watch. So without further ado, let's jump into the illustration process. All right guys, let's jump into this illustration. So what I did first was I took a picture of the Nutcracker that I have hanging on my Christmas tree. And then I took the picture and I dropped it into my iPad, lowered that opacity. And that was a good way for me to get my shapes going. I didn't want to do like a one for one uh, replica, but getting the proportions right was really important to me. So I knew having a photo reference would really help the process. It's always good to have like a sketch or a photo that you're going off of. I mean, unless you're doing something straight from your brain, uh, go for it but in this instance I knew I wanted to get all the proportions correct so I took a picture and then went from there so once I had all the shapes uh, where I wanted them I put an outline on the piece I didn't know when I started this if I wanted to do something with strokes or just to keep it flat um, but obviously I ended up doing a stroke and I like how that looks so I'm still just assembling shapes. I'm doing a couple shadows here and there, um, but once everything's put into place, that's where I like to come back in and I really add the last little pizzazz. Um, I think the piece, you know, goes from here to here when you start adding those shadows and highlights, and it's honestly my favorite part of the illustration. And when it comes to the shadows and highlights, I think that's where Illustrator on the iPad is really strong. The fact that I can use the pencil tool to come in and actually draw my shadows and draw my highlights uh, I think makes my process that much quicker. Usually when I'm using like the desktop version I like to come in with the pen tool and do my shadows and highlights but on this I use the pencil tool which is just so weird because the pencil tool is something that's really hardly used on the desktop version. So here you see me, I do the hair and the beard, the little accents on them, that's all the pencil tool. So I know I keep talking about the pencil tool, but it's just, it's a really great feature that the iPad has as opposed to the desktop version. I really struggled with this beard too. I think I did the beard like three or four times over, um, but I finally figured it out. I was missing the little chomper, you know, the, the nutcracker chomper thing, so I got it figured out. and. We got the uh, piece looking good. So here's the final piece, guys. I really like how this came out. Very festive, a lot of fun. Um, the symmetry on it is really cool. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. No doubt we'll do some more Christmas illustrations before the 25th. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit a thumbs up for me. And if you want to see content like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to see content like this now, you could actually go back to my older videos. I got a lot of illustrations, rebrands, logo designs. Just check them out. If you want to get in touch with me, you can join my Discord. I'll have that link below. It's a great place for us to chat and talk design. Well, guys, I appreciate you. Until the next one, peace.